think we are here and live and oh man I got that Dublin in hold on all right I'm gonna try and keep an eye on the chat room too if anyone joins in but uh, here's what's gonna happen I um, just got a primitive streaming setup I'm gonna make sure the audio's off it is and uh, it's not sorry about the camera work there it's not the most glamorous streaming setup in the world, but uh, here's all I want to do is I just want <clears throat> to have a chance to uh, talk through some things you guys might be interested in as far as composing goes or working on tracks or things like that. So uh, I'll fix my camera here. Sorry, guys. Boop. we go all right there we go sorry about all that all right so um, I just want to walk you through a little bit of a piece I'm working on I have this idea and I'm not really sure what to do with it necessarily or exactly what to make of it um, but I'm gonna try and do something a little bit different um, Okay, so uh, I should say that this is all a little new to me, the streaming thing. Um, so I'm going to do what I can and explain things if anyone has questions. But uh, here we go. So let me just go through this piece here. Um, as you can see, I have uh, just an eight bar progression that I've just copied and pasted. Um, let's take a listen. I really like this progression. I just don't really know what to do with it. So I was thinking I could just sort of build it, build it up in real time and we could all, you know, kind of watch it come to life a little bit. So here's the, here's the track. So that's it. I really love that progression. Um, I thought of it a, a couple days ago, and um, I really like it. So you can see here, we start on an F. You can see my hands there. Hello, hands. Um, F to a C. And then this B flat. This is it's a B flat two add six something like that no three I don't know basically a B flat in the bass but then G C F to an F seven and then this down to an A minor and I really like the sound of this G sus over B nice clash there to a G all right so if you put that together F
So really, the most part of that is this rocking back and forth between this F and the C, and then we're just I'm just harmonizing that motion in in different ways to sort of feel like it's moving somewhere. But those two notes are really uh, holding down that whole progression. Hey, Drew, it's fire. What's going on? Um, so now that you've heard it, let's take a listen one more time. So that's, that's again the idea. Um, and so what I want to do is I have that sort of, you know, arranged out, but I don't really know what to do with it. So I thought we could all sort of figure this out <laughs> together. Um, it might not all happen right now, um, but it'll happen over, over days maybe. Uh, let me just show you what this is right now. Um, so with this patch, I'm using... Um, this texture designer from Intimate Textures by Heaviosity, which, I mean, they're unbelievable. Um, so Heaviosity, we're using this sound. That makes it the most Some turbulence, a little disturbance to the sound, which kind of just gives it this, I don't know, intrigue, I guess is a good word. All right, so that's our, our foundation. So now I need to figure out what, what we're going to do with that. And I don't really know the answer, but we are going to uh, we're gonna figure it out. Oh, it says I lost your, my audio mic. Oh, that might be true. Is it back? I hear it in my headphones. Check, check, one, two. Does it go away when I play the music, I wonder? Again, this is new to me. So let me know if it goes away when the track plays. Check, one, two, one, two. Check, maybe I had a hiccup in the streaming. I don't know. I'm not sure if Twitch or YouTube is the best place to stream this stuff. Um, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little piano part. Uh, to the second half of this. So I'm on Keyscape, which is fantastic. And I am going to uh, use this cinematic piano, which has just a cool... Just a cool atmospheric uh, reverb and EQ to it, so it's beautiful. So let's call this the piano. And um, what I'm going to do is... When this repeats, oops. When this repeats, I just want to kind of go to. Um, I want to add some more intrigue, and I think maybe adding the little piano to it um, will help it feel like we're building. I love the way those first eight bars just sort of breathe, and it's just. I don't know. It's just quiet and simple, um, but the progression makes it intriguing. So now, um, starting in this section here. Uh, I want to start building, and we're going to build over time. So um, I'm just going to do something really simple on the piano and see uh, see what we get.
told you it was going to be simple. <laughs> uh, so that is as simple as it gets, just these three notes. Um, I don't want to go too far too fast, and I might we might get down the road and realize, wow, we didn't, we didn't start fast enough, but I'd rather start a little slow, too slow than too fast for this particular cue. Um, now the question I have to ask myself is, do I like it down here or do I like it up there? But here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to loop this out one more time. I like it. I like it there. I feel like it feels comfortable. It has a nice home there. Um, and then when we get to this part here at bar 17, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up an octave. I don't know how far you can see my hands on this keyboard. Um, but And then I'm going to add more rhythm to it. Uh, so rather than eighth notes, I'm going to try going to triplets. Something like that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm, I don't really, again, I haven't really thought about this much other than kind of the overall feeling I want to give. So um, I'm, you're going to see my, my right hand just stay in those notes, those three notes, the same three notes that we played down here, only up an octave. And then you're going to see my left hand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to just kind of bounce around here and I'm not too concerned with, um, how it's going to lay over the progression because I'm I'm pretty sure that no matter what notes I pick out of the notes that I'm thinking about, uh, they're going to sit they're going to sit well over this uh, over this progression. So um, let's try it. See there, already jacked up the tempo. Sorry about that. Let's try it again. Man, I'm having a hard time getting those triplets. Let's see. One, two. I'm trying to start it on the offbeat. I should, this is why you write things down. I'm just sort of winging it. I need to add one more down there. That's a general idea. I can tell you I don't really love what I just played, so we're going to back out of it. This is just part of the process. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm just trying to find something I, I really like. So for me, I'll tell you what I didn't like about it, because that's, I think, just as important as figuring out what I do like. Um, I don't, I didn't like what I did with my left hand, so I really love this. That's great. Uh, I don't know if it's great, but I, I like it. Um, oh, Someone says it's super relaxing. That's fantastic. Uh, I'm so glad. So what I didn't like is how busy this left hand was. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and keep it in one place for longer. Um, so I'm probably going to just go. So I guess what I found by doing it the first way was going, I kind of, I kind of figured out something I, I liked, but it wasn't quite right. Um, again, I think I've equated music to cooking a lot. Um, you take a taste and you go, oh, I just needs more salt and more pepper or whatever. And so you add those ingredients. The thing about music is 
at least this kind of music, is that if you realize you added too much of something, you can take it away. So I realized I added too much. So I'm going to make it a little more sparse in that left hand. Here we go. I like, I like that better. At least I'm going to keep it for now. Um, I'm going to wake up tomorrow and hate it. I'll tell you what, though. I didn't play it super great. And rather than play it again and bore everyone to tears, I'm just going to quantize this. So we're talking about these are um, 16 no, triplets. So I'm going to quantize that. And then it's going to sound a lot better than what I just played. Okay. So now let's just listen here. This section, just floaty. We get to this section. We're adding just a little bit of a pace to it with that piano coming in. And then here, we're going to start picking it up uh, at bar 17. You're going to hear it just feel like the momentum starting to build. Let's take a listen. I'm going to turn that click off. Sorry, guys. I like how that is turning out. Um, so now, at least for me, right, this is all about sensitivity. Again, just like if you're a chef, you might like something a little spicier than other people. Um, so I might hear this a little different than you might hear it. But for me, once we enter into this phase, um, I just want, I want another layer of sort of thickness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this pad here. I'm gonna to go to Omnisphere. Uh, I like Omnisphere. Um, and I'm, t I'm, I'm trying to not let this get too orchestral. So I'm gonna try and stay away from, I think these um, these strings here that I used from Heaviosity, um, I think those are you know, pretty stringy um, and orchestral in nature sort of way. Um, so what I wanna do is try to find something that's warm that complements that without getting into an orchestral arrangement um, with a, specifically violins, violas, cellos. I think that would sound actually really good with this, but um, I just want to try to separate it a little bit and just see what happens. So I'm going to go into Omnisphere and I'm going to find something that is a pad and something that is warm. Is there warm? Soft and warm. Perfect. And I'm just going to start kind of uh, previewing some of these and see what we get. I don't know if I want something glassy. Deep blue clouds, what's that? No, that's a little too sci-fi for me. So soft. Okay, 
I do like that. But here's what I'm going to do. So we have this up for the progression. All right, I like that, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually put, um, I'm going to layer it. I'm a big fan of layering things. I'm going to layer that with an organ sound. So organ-ish. Nope, that's a little too organy. So that's just the, you can see I have the, the top pad muted. This one, just listen to it by itself. Let's see if I like it together. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. It's a little overpowering here. I just want a hint of that organ. Okay, you hear that? thing to it just because I like playing around um, so I really like that sound of that pad but I'm gonna add a little effect to it just to give it some slight motion I'm gonna go and add a tremolo effect to it and that's just gonna make it go like a wah 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 but I don't want it super heavy All right, you can hear that kind of going back and forth So, there, I really want this face to start a little bit harder, and then we kind of get this, still, still feels like it's gouging into that waveform. I want, I want, I want it to be real, real subtle. So we just hear these sort of waves in the sound. Let's try that. So I like that. I don't know if I love it, but here's what I, I don't really hear any of that. So now I'm trying to make it, I thought the subtleness would cut through of this tremolo effect. It doesn't. So I'm going to make it a little bit more uh, significant so that it does cut through after over exaggerating. I gotta find a place in the mix where it just sits and I can just sort of hear it pulse. I feel like I'm pretty close right there. And then another thing real quick, as long as we're here, it's a little loud for me, but um, when I was playing that, I, I, fell, I fell out of love with some of these piano, uh, these piano notes. So let's just go through. I'm gonna change some of these notes you see here. Uh, if you can see. It's going to climb up. So we have C to E up here. I think that's going to work out better. C, E. And then here's C, F, C, G, and then C, A. Okay, let's just hear that one more time. I feel like a character in a, 
story looking over valley about to go on adventure there yeah that's cool i have no idea really what this represents other than um i just like the progression and i wanted something that was that was a, a good foundation that i could build but i really i have no idea how to build this so i'm just playing with ideas and i thought it might be fun to do it uh together since we're all stuck in our homes uh indefinitely <laughs> You want to say hi to everybody? Yeah, that's my son Jack. He is eight years old. Almost to be nine. Your birthday's on Friday, right? You, you want to say hi to everybody? Come here. I mean, there's no, they can see you. You can't see them. I'm just showing them some music I'm working on. Where are they? Well, they're in the, they're in the camera right there. You got to look at them. They are? Well, they're not in there, but that's how they see you. If you want to get, in, there's, that's Jack, everybody. What's up? Yeah, yeah. Give me a couple minutes. Okay. All right. I got a Connect Sports bowling tournament to go to right after this. Man, it's a busy life. Okay, so that's what uh, that's what we're doing. Um, I have some ideas of where I want to take this. Now I've been working on it for, what, uh, a few minutes? <laughs> um, but so here's what I'm hoping to do um, is start adding some other elements um, a little bit higher and also add some elements to give it some rhythm but I don't want it to be like a drum set or anything I just want something um, almost this ethereal I want to really keep the floatiness of it and I want to really um, keep that harmonic structure intact at some point we're gonna have to go somewhere else harmonically but I, I really just I like living in this spot for for quite a while so we'll probably um, you know, we'll probably paste this, copy and paste this out a couple more times and just keep adding to it and working with it. So, um, but that's going to be all for today. Uh, I'll try and do more and maybe a little longer session tomorrow. This is my first time kind of going through this with a little setup with the keyboard. That's pretty cool. You can see the notes I'm playing um, and getting it all together. So thank you for joining in and um, hopefully we can do uh, more. I plan on doing some more um hopefully tomorrow or the next day. And um, I'd like to do it on a regular basis so we can sort of all get to know each other a little bit better. But uh, thank you for being here, you guys, for helping me figure this out. And uh, we'll do more, like I said, hopefully tomorrow. All right. Thanks, guys.